friend, welcome back. This is Golden Sun. In this video, we'll introduce a new data structure, data type, tuple. Okay, T U P L E tuple. Um, we'll continue right with the no. We'll modify the implementation a little bit by using tuple here. So tuple. TU period tuple right means um, a group of finite um, data grouped together. Okay, tuple. So for example, this one, those two lines, right? We can use a tuple like that. A tuple equals right two values. Let's comment out this one. So variable largest mm -hmm. and the second largest, right? Equals correspondingly minimum and uh, int dot minimum, right? And can we put the data type here? Not sure. Run it. Hmm. No. Run it. Yeah, this works. So maybe the data type. Yeah, so 86. Yes. Maybe the data type is like here my best guess, right? Yes, that's the data type. Okay, that is the data type. Now let's remove, okay, so leave it there for comparison. How can we replace this, those two lines, right? Using a tuple? Um, we want to assign the second and the largest set with, right, largest and the number, right, correspondingly. Same thing here, but uh, uh, just a single line of code. Run it. Why is it so slow? Oh, really? Wow. Um, yeah, this is the largest. This is the second largest. Okay. Um, yeah, that's tuple. I'll give you another uh, example for the usage of tuple, right? Remember, um, we already introduced the function, okay? So, a function can only return a single result, like that. For example, let's create a function um, total and average, okay? That's, um, that's accept an array of integers, okay? An array of integers, okay? So array or numbers, right? Double return, okay? That's return. That's return uh, tuple. So here, that uh, we needed to calculate the total, right? Yeah, so we need a for loop uh, number in numbers and uh, 
double, no, um, sum double equals zero or zero dot zero, and here sum plus equal um, number, right? So that's the total. And uh, what is the average? That average, right, equals sum divided by numbers dot count, right? And uh, now we can return a tuple sum and uh, average, right? So this way we can return two things. Double and in. So, yeah, this is integer, so we need to cast. So, this is a trick, right? So, we can put a space there. Now we have autocomplete like that. Or another way is another way is highlight this one and uh, type opening parentheses, right? Now double, yeah, we have the auto complete help. Now let's test it with um, that samples and the data type is a double of an array, right? Uh, an array of doubles, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. Now Let's print out. Mm, no, we can do that. That to total and uh, average equals that's called right total and average number samples. And uh, we can print out the, can we print out the, this guy, total, let's see if we can print out the, the run it, oh, print, does accept a tuple as the argument, is that correct, total, 15, right? And the 3 is the average. Yes, it works. Oh, uh, yeah, a cool thing is, um, a cool thing is this can, yeah, dot zero means the first one. Now, let's do something like that. So, yeah, backslash. So total equals this one dot zero, and uh, average equals right. Mm. This one. No. Uh, sorry about that. We needed to put uh, this is the tuple itself, right? This is the tuple itself. So we put the tuple here, dot one. Let's use the auto. Mm -hmm. Try it again. Oh, it doesn't pop up the auto complete. Run it. Auto is uh, uh, sorry about that. It should be here. Dot zero.
เนี่ยสอ if we only need the average right we can if we only need the average we can put an underscore here um, and we can print out average equals average like that Yeah, it works. Thank you for watching. See you next time.